good and welcome to Magsy's Fun Time. This is Magsy and we are back here on Feed the Beast Presents Sky Factory 3. Uh, this video is going to be a precursor to my uh, actual Sky Factory LP video. And today we are looking at power production. Just a, a few little uh, notes and I wanted to I wanted to see which one of these was going to be the most efficient. Alright. And which one was going to produce the most power? So what I did is I set these up right here on a uh, vibrant capacitor, completely empty, and I put one bucket of lava in each one of these. Now for this one here, you do have to also put some uh, redstone in here, and I think one bucket of lava. It does 50 at a time per piece of redstone. So, we just have to divide that by 50, I believe. So, a thousand divided by 50, 120. Get these about 19, 20 pieces of red stuff in this to get the power out. Alright. So, um, this is the one we're currently using right here. Okay. Now, you can run coal generators off of buckets of lava. I'll show you over here, right here. I've got this set up right here. Right here. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go to detail in that second. But you can you can run it off of lava. All right. And it will produce, as you can't see here, but you will be able to see here, 30 RF per tick. Okay. And by far, this one here is the most efficient out of all of these. Most efficient. This thing lasts forever. All right. So we're going to take a look at all these. All right. So this one, just one bucket of lava, give us six hundred thousand RF. The lava mark one gave us two hundred thousand. The magmatic generator from extra utilities gave us a hundred thousand. And then the heated redstone generator gave us 400,000. Now, this one is going to be out until I can get any kind of um, any kind of redstone up in uh, auto production of redstone. So, so we're not going to be able to use this one, even though it gives us uh, the second most out of all of these. Uh, this one is highly efficient. But at 30 RF per tick, we are going to need a lot of these um, running at one time. And I don't really know if that's going to be feasible. I would like to set at least one or two of these up just to have slow, constant uh, lava power. Because this is 16 buckets here, and this light literally lasts almost forever. Like, see this burn time is 20,000 ticks? And it gives us 30 RF per tick. Yeah. Yeah. You get that. <laughs> it, it literally lasts almost forever. So, um, that being said, this one looks like it's going to be the, the best one. Now, there are upgrades for this one. So, this is the upgraded one. Okay. So, what I did here is I set these two up here. This is equal to eight of these. All right. So, let me show you that. Generator. Generator. Yeah, right here. If we hit R here, you can see you need eight of these plus a vibrant crystal to make one of these. All right, and the the problem I have is this only produces. So so what I did here is I I, I run one bucket of lava through here, and then I run eight buckets of lava through this one. That, that represents running eight of these at one time. All right. So this one only produced one million five hundred thirty-six thousand, whereas eight of these would have produced us one million six hundred thousand. So I know it's faster, but shouldn't it? You know, shouldn't it produce the same amount of energy, even though it's faster? 
are, are you purposely losing energy f uh, efficiency for speed? Is that is that the deal? Because like, like I don't know. I mean, okay. So so here's what I'm gonna do. Let me get another bucket here. Hold on. There we go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw one in each one of these. It should be only a second behind. And I wanna see. Okay, that's, that's pretty fast, actually. And then you are still running. So it's like what, three, four times, four times as fast as this one. So that much loss probably isn't a, a bad, a bad deal. I don't know. You guys can decide whether that's worth it or not. It's a little bit of loss here, but it is much faster. Anyway, this produces 880 R per I didn't show you guys that. This one here, if I grab a couple of buckets of lava again here. This one here. Okay. Grid overloaded. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> this one will need you to have some kind of power grid there. And that now it's working. So this one only gives 40. So it gives half as much power as this one. And it gives less of it for the same amount of lava. So this one is the worst one we could possibly use. So when we go back over to our world, we're going to have to get rid of these and make these. Yeah. This is going to be our best bet. In the long run, so what, so what I'm thinking, I'm going to set up one of these right here. I'm going to show you how to set this up in a second. And and then I'm going to do probably three of these here. And uh, on, on some uh, capacitors. It won't be vibrant capacitors, but we'll see. Let's make it daytime. Now, you can put speed upgrades in these. So I can put 20 speed upgrades in these right here. Let me, let me finish... Let me finish this little bit here and I'll put another bucket of lava in here. That's why I got two buckets out. So I wanted to show you with speed upgrades in it. Let's go over this and then we'll come back to this. Okay. So how you set these up right here is you get one of these fluid tanks and you just hook it straight up here. And I keep I always keep like an excess coming in. So I got a drum in here. It's, it's completely full. And we are using fire water underneath here, which we are going to get around to getting on our world. But right now, we're not capable of doing that. So, anyway. So, once you set up your lava, put your fluid tank right here. And you want to set it to output into this thing right here. And you want it to push and pull. Okay? And then what you do is you put a, a, a regular bucket in here, in here. And what it will do is it will fill up. You're almost ready. So, so you're you're gonna see this right here in a second. Yeah. Come on. Okay. So what it does is it transfers it back up to here, refills it, puts it down here, and then sends it right back into here, right? And then when it's ready, when it when this runs out, it just refills it. And this will produce slow, steady power, right? Slow, steady power. So I'm going I'm to look at that in a second. This is done. Okay. So what we want to do now is go ahead and put the 20 speed upgrades in here. And then we can pop you in here. And as you can see now, we're producing 830 RF per tick. <laughs> and, and speeding through it. And speeding through it. So you can't upgrade these with speed upgrades to make them a whole lot better. But how much 
did that actually give us more power is the is the is the question. So let's get rid of this. Yeah. And we are empty. We are empty here. We are empty here. Now this gave us a hundred thousand last time. Alright. Hundred thousand. So we're gonna put this in here. We're gonna let this run. Hundred and thirty three off per tick. And we're just gonna wait. And we're gonna see if the speed upgrades actually do some more power. So it's done. Now it did it faster, but it didn't produce us some more. Which means this one's still crap. Even though you can put speed upgrades to get power faster, this one is gonna be the best bet out of all of them. So again, we're gonna we're gonna make one of these and set it up like this to have some slow steady power. And then we're going to set up three of these. Now, that does mean we are going to have to get some uh, things up and running. I don't know if I actually have. We we can make this, right? And and the block of redstone isn't isn't that bad. And I've got copper. It's these electron plates that we're going to have to actually I can do a plate cast and then just cast them into there that's cool This is easy. I can do that. So we need three of these. So that's the plan. Um, I did want to take a look at the survival generators here now. Um, what I did here is I compared a block of coal, um, nine pieces of coal, and then I broke the nine pieces of coal. Basically, I, I put a block of coal in here, then I broke that down into nine pieces of coal, put it in here, and then I took those nine pieces of coal and broke those down into the little coal, the, the coal chunks, the mini coal, whatever they're called, and put the same amount of them in here. And what we got was 720, like just look at it, 720 here and 720 here, but when we used the block here, we got 800,000. So, and the speed upgrades in these made it give us 105 RF per tick for like six minutes for the block of coal. And then, so on. So, it was pretty good. It was actually pretty good with all the speed upgrades and everything. You can, you can... If you run three of these on uh, 50 speed upgrades, or 60 speed upgrades, you can actually get, what, 315 RF per tick for, for a very good amount of time, actually, especially if you use the blocks. So, that might be an option for somebody you want. But I think I'm going to go with this one. A lot of production is easy. This is going to be a nice passive way to make... Uh, lava for us. We are going to have to work our way up to fire water, but uh, I think we're going to be good. We're going to be good. We can just add more of these, and we are going to have to upgrade our cobble uh, generator up to tier 2, I believe, to cover what we need to cover. Uh, anyway, guys, if you like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. If you... Oh, this is my test word, by the way. I just wanted to also, be careful with these generators. Uh, I believe they produce heat because they burnt my tree down twice. Here. These blocks are missing because they caught fire. <laughs> and I didn't have no lava over here, so it had to be from these guys. So just, just be mindful of that. Um, anyway, guys, if you like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. 
if you subscribe to my channel, I'll send you notifications when I have new videos up. You can come check them out, see if you like them. If you do like this episode and you want to share it with friends, tell them what you like. There's a share tab down below. Click on the share tab, copy the link, post it on Facebook, Twitter, wherever you use social media. If you have any tips, tricks, or comments, put them in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in the next episode.